now on the five and twentieth day of the ninth month, which is called the month of Kislu, in the hundred and forty-eighth year, they rose up early in the morning and offered sacrifices according to the Torah upon the new altar of burnt offerings, which they had made. Look, at what time and what day the heathen had profaned it, even in that was it dedicated with songs and with citherns and harps and cymbals. Then all the people fell upon their faces, worshiping and praising the Elohim of heaven, who had given them good success. And so they kept the dedication of the altar eight days and offered burnt offerings with gladness and sacrificed the sacrifice of deliverance and praise. They decked also the forefront of the temple with crowns of gold and with shields, and the gates and the chambers they renewed and hanged doors upon them. Thus was there very great gladness among the people, for that the reproach of the heathen was put away. Moreover, Yehuda and his brethren with the whole assembly of Yasharel ordained that the days of the dedication of the altar should be kept in their season from year to year by the space of eight days, from the five and twentieth day of the month of Kishlu with myrrh and gladness. You see, my Israelite brothers and sisters, this is why it's so important to observe and practice these righteous acts of the Most High. Because there's a reason why he has given these feast days unto his people. Because it teaches us our heritage. It gives us something that no one else has. So it's important and it's vital that we study, that we research, and that we practice these righteous acts. Because they teach us about deliverance. Now go ahead and turn to the book of Jeremiah chapter 51 because I'm going to show you that indeed faith with works will get the job done, brothers and sisters. So it's time to get up and come to the throne of the Most High with boldness. It goes on to say, verse 20, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war, for with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms, and with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider. And with thee will I break in pieces the chariot and his rider. With thee also will I break in pieces man and woman. And with thee will I break in pieces old and young. And with thee will I break in pieces the young man and the maid. I will also break in pieces with thee the shepherd and his flock. And with thee will I break in pieces the husbandman and his yoke of oxen, and with thee will I break in pieces, captains and rulers. Now, brothers and sisters, when you look at the Feast of Dedication, when we read about in Maccabees, about Judah Maccabees and his brother rising up the Most High, this verse right here hits home because that's exactly what they did. They had faith, they rose up against their enemies. Judah Maccabees called his brothers, let's get this thing on because we got to run these Greeks out of here because they have defiled our temple. And the Most High gave them power to rise up and to drive the Greeks out. And this is why we have the Feast of Dedication because it is a remembrance of taking back our temple, running the Greeks out. And this is why we practice this every year. So when you think about the Feast of Dedication, which... Some people call the Hanukkah, but I don't use the word Hanukkah because that's a made up word. But the Feast of Dedication is all about how the Judah Maccabeans rose up and they drove the Greek boys out of our temples, out of the temple of the Most High. Now, some of you may be asking, well, how do we celebrate the Feast of Dedication? Well, brothers and sisters, it is easier than you think because all you're doing is that you're commemorating the memory of the Judah, the Judah Maccabeans taking back the temple. So during those eight days, burn your menorah, play some harps, play some instrumental music to remind you each of those days. You know, come home for work, burn that menorah and just spend time with your family. Read the first book of Maccabees, one through four, and then read uh, second Maccabees as well, chapter 10. 
just read through those and just learn how our forefathers took our temple back. I mean, it's amazing, brothers and sisters. These are our feast days. They don't belong to no one else but us. So let us take pride in keeping and practicing the righteous acts of the Most High. And I know some brothers and sisters are going to come back and say, well, what if I don't have a menorah? You don't need a menorah. You can get your little seven cheap candles at the Dollar Tree, you know, put them side by side and, and do it that way. Just get creative, brothers and sisters. You know, but the, the most important thing is that you're commemorating the Feast of the Dedication. You're commemorating how Judah Maccabees and his brother went in and how the power of the Most High came into them and they took back by force the temple. And so what's going to happen in these last days when Hamashiach and this host of angel comes back? He's going to do the same thing. He's going to take by force. He's going to take it. He's going to break all the nations to pieces. So let this be a reminder for what's to come, brothers and sisters. So that's what these feasts are all about. They're all about deliverance. Every last one of them, brothers and sisters, all about deliverance. And so I want to wish you a happy feast of dedication. I know many of you have your different dates when you celebrate them. But when you do celebrate it, brothers and sisters, just remember what it's all about. And be blessed and stay strong, brothers and sisters, because the Most High has not forsaken us and he has not forgotten about us, brothers and sisters. So let us remain strong. Let us labor in the Most High and in his power. And I say shalom and stay strong. Chosen seed of Israel. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they to keep the commandments of the God and the faith of my Shia. Whoa, yeah. I gotta thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they to keep the commandments. Of the hour and the faith of the machine. Oh, hey, whoa, I'm here to encourage you, brothers and sisters, trying to paint to you a better picture. Everything I say, I back it up with the scriptures to get you out the matrix. It's been over 400 years of life. To open up your eyes Cause there's so many reasons We in captivity You gotta flee from the heathens There is hope in our future Even though they trying to do a scene But we live to fight another day Vengeance is to Yah We'll be praying for Yahweh's I gotta day. thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel He's trying yeah. Here's the patient of the saints. Whoa. Here are they to keep the commandments of the Commandments of the And the faith of my Shia. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. I gotta thank Yahweh for being the chosen seed of Israel. Israel. Here's the patient of the saints. Here are they to keep the commandments of the And the faith of the Shia. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do